Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my little channel here on the interwebs. Hopefully everyone had a good weekend. It is a Monday. I pretty much spent all day mowing my backyard. Now the reason why I took all day is because I'm actually using a uh, scythe. Uh, which is very, very interesting. I think I got sharp enough to cut. I think it's nailed down from uh, techniques. But it's just a different way of mowing my yard that I'm not used to. If I was using a push lawnmower, it would only take me like an, an hour, hour and a half. Including the front yard and the backyard. But I only mow the backyard. But anyways, enough about me and my weekend. Is the end of the eviction moratorium coming? According to the news, it may appear to be so. Now, in case if you don't know what the eviction moratorium is, it means if I were to own a house and I'm renting it to some deadbeats, during this uh, pandemic, I would be unable to kick them out if they were not paying. Now, that's just a simplest form I could come up with. Now, of course, there's many reasons why that wouldn't be true because I don't own property where I'm renting, but still, on the federal level, the eviction moratorium is ending. According to the right-leaning source of Fox, Biden ignores Plessy calls to extend eviction ban despite Kavanaugh's opinion. Squad Dems still protests eviction moratorium in action from party leaders outside of the Capitol. President Biden and the White House adds of Monday morning did not respond to the statement from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and her leadership. Term called for the executive branch to extend the federal eviction moratorium as a squad Democrats continued to camp on the Capitol steps in protest of the inaction from their party, which is pretty true. I mean, they really haven't done much other than try to write a whole bunch of large checks that will uh, we might be able to pay off, maybe not. Action is needed and must come from the administration. That is why the House leadership is calling for the administration to immediately extend the moratorium. Pelosi, Democrat California, and her leadership team said in Sunday morning in a statement hours after the moratorium ended. As the CDC doubles down on mask wearing and vaccination efforts, Science and reason demands that they must extend the moratorium in light of the Delta variant, other than that the CDC only recommends guidelines. They, not, they really cannot create rules. It is up to the leaders like Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer to create a law so Joe Biden can sign it that would actually extend the moratorium on eviction, but they chose not to. The Center of Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, early in the coronavirus pandemic, implemented a, an eviction moratorium that banned landlords from removing people who were behind on their rent. It was extended multiple times, but finally ended Saturday night, following a June opinion from the Supreme Court, Justice Brett Kavanaugh saying Congress, not the President, would have to extend the moratorium if we continue. Consistent with that, the White House asked Congress to pass legislation to continue the ban on landlords evicting tenants who fall, who fail to pay their rent. In light of the Supreme Court ruling, the president calls on Congress to extend the eviction moratorium to protect such vulnerable renters and their families without delay. White House Press Secretary Jen Circleback Paskey said last week, but the votes were not there either in the House or the Senate, so the eviction ban expired. The White House did not respond to the request for a comment from Fox News about Pelosi's statement, which essentially asked Biden to do something. The Supreme Court already said it was unlawful. I pretty much, pretty much get the gist of this one. Uh, of course, you got Biden to urge to speed aid after Congress CDC unable to extend the eviction moratorium. This is from uh, NBC, popular, more left-wing 
House Democrats failed last week to push through the last-minute extension on federal moratorium, which expired this Saturday. And I was actually mowing my yard Saturday. Washington Democrats in Congress and White House pointed the finger and imploring others to act to reinstate the eviction moratorium as the CDC continued to insist the lack of power to act unanimously. The moratorium, which is enacted in the early days of the pandemic, expired on Saturday. The White House said recent Supreme Court decision means the administration lacks the authority to institute another extension called on Congress to act, but Congress could not muster the votes. On Friday, even in the Democrat-controlled House to pass the bill. Now, from my understanding that even though they control the House, there's enough uh, Republicans. I don't know. I thought there was enough Democrats to vote. Who knows? The White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said Monday afternoon in a statement that Biden urged the CDC on Sunday to consider extended eviction for another month, but only targets continues with the high case rates of COVID. Um, I thought the CDC couldn't really make such mandates, but oh well. Shortly after the statements was released, Gene Spurling, who is overseeing the White House, rolled out over COVID emergency funds, told reporters that the CDC was unable to find the legal authority for the targeted eviction moratorium. The White House and the Democratic leaders in Congress have tried to shift focus to unspent, excuse me, unspent, Funds intended to help people pay their rent as progressives in the House stage a public demonstration against their own colleagues. House Speaker Nancy announced that the Treasury Secretary Janet Yen would brief the Democrat members of the House this week. Wait a minute. Where's the Republicans? Shouldn't the, they should say Nancy Pulaski announced that the Treasury, uh, Treasury Secretary Janet Yelly will brief the House of Representatives this week. Why are the Republicans not being invited? This House designated to assist tenants with rent payments. Yellen will give her presentation to House Democrats on Tuesday to explain how her agencies have distributed the $46.5 billion in aid allocated by Congress, one with the main purpose of extending the moratorium. Plus, they said in the letter in her caucus Monday, Polsky urges members to look in their state, local, local facilities, distributions for the funds, and work in your district to help get the money to flow. Yeah, 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 you get the point. Now, you know, part of me would say boo-hoo, and I do understand there's a lot of people that were deemed non-essential to work. And I understand that if you were putting it in, let's say, 40 hours, 60 hours, probably more like 40 hours or even 30 hours, depending on the type of work you were doing, probably was retail, and you were told that you were non-essential and were told to stay home and you were let go, you probably don't want to go back to work for a company that told you you were non-essential. So I understand that, that concern, but I also understand a good amount of people were receiving unemployment with the addition of $300, if they chose not to pay their rent, then they should 100% be evicted. Now, that is only one scenario. If they were receiving unemployment and they were also receiving a $300 per month extra from the federal government, either or, and they chose not to make payments towards rent and living in someone's house or apartment rent-free, why should we reward you by letting you stay there rent-free. It is the job of the renter to make arrangements with the landlord to make payments. If you're not able to make payments because you're not working, then you should be able to tell the landlord, here is what I am getting from the government. Here is how much I could afford to give you and create a payment plan. Now, I do understand that there's certain mega companies, BlackRock and Pacific, Pacific that actually own a crap ton of land or homes and this is their business model and that they probably could afford to do some rent forgiveness which will go a long ways in your PR BlackRock do rent forgiveness if you own these if you own this uh, that way you could do a PR saying that you did your part during the pandemic 
and did rent forgiveness. Now, as I'm saying, if you're sitting at home, not working, but able to work, but decide not to go back to the workforce and you're making unemployment and that $300, there's no reason why you shouldn't have been paying your rent. I have no sympathy for those people. Now, if you're making unemployment, but not enough to pay rent, just enough to pay a couple of utility bills and maybe put food on the table, then I definitely have your sympathy. And also the people that would actually lose more money going back to work because I understand our system is broken when it comes to unemployment and also the welfare. So if you were, if you're stuck between being able to pay bills and stay on assistance and then losing that money for four weeks or three weeks, because that's what the pay schedule is. I understand saying that, but I, but to say that you're just automatically out, I think it should be tapered. I think once this ends, I think landlords should be able to collect their past rent. And if they still cannot pay, then they should be kicked out if the renter is just choosing not to pay. Um, but it's up to the renters to start the initiation, to come up with the payment plan, and try to find work that would allow them to pay rent. Anyways, that is my two cents. Leave a comment down below. Smash the like and subscribe button. If you think that someone will enjoy my content, please share. But most importantly, have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening.